Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Garrity RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon. Today I'm going to show you a brand new floor, floor plan from Jayco. This is the White Hawk and it is a fantastic new design. This is the 27 rear bath. Uh, it's completely different inside and I've got a lot to talk about on this rig. So let's take a look inside and I'll show you around. Follow me. Now one of the first things to know about a Jayco is Jayco's got a legacy. They've been around 50 years, more than 50 years, and uh, they have a really unique aspect to them. They're the only company out there that offers a two-year warranty, and I mean everything. They cover the appliances for two years, of course, the, everything that they build for two years. Nobody really does that in the whole industry. I'm really impressed with that. Been selling Jaycos for years, and folks are quite happy with them. The first thing I want you to see in here is a, this is just a beautiful spacious floor plan. It's got the big full slide with a full dinette and a sofa. This is a trifold sofa. It makes a very nice bed. And then they did something really different up here. They put in a big 32 inch TV and entertainment center. This is a home theater system so it'll play your DVDs and it'll play music and it'll even Bluetooth to your phone. That's really nice. And this has an electric fireplace. That's an option on this rig. The electric fireplace is great because if you have a place where you're going to hook up, you can use this to heat your trailer and you could save your propane. And you don't have to listen to the forced air furnace blowing and, and stuff like that. It's, it's a really nice feature. Now you're going to notice a, a really nice kitchen in here. It has an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Most of the trailers you find out there have a small fridge, maybe a six cubic foot, but this has a full eight. And I want to show you something I really like. This is a Norcold refrigerator. There's basically only a couple of kinds of fridges out there and they both work just great. But this has a unique feature. It has a nice deep basin here. And what's great about that is that it'll hold stuff in so it doesn't come out when you open the door. One time I thawed out five pounds of crushed ice in one of these freezers and it didn't come out when I opened the door. So I think that's a really great deal. This has got the stainless steel appearance package, the hood, the microwave and everything. Has a nice oven here. It's got a nice big double sink. Uh, nowadays we're seeing a lot of sinks that don't have the partition in the middle. So you can't really use them to wash and rinse. And so I really like this. It has a nice tall faucet with the squirter nozzle and everything like that. And it's got some storage down here. And you can see right there a place to put, oh, you know, a little stuff like your scrubber brush or something. And then full drawers that pull out. And what you see here are plywood drawers with metal, metal bearing roller guides. Those are great because they hold the weight and they don't break down and stack up on each other the way lesser quality drawers do. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom back here. The first thing you'll notice is that they put in some shelving in here. There's quite a bit of space for pantries pantry items right here on both sides. Big deep pantry so you're never going to run out of space for food. And then in the bathroom, this is a, just a great bathroom. It's got a great big um, uh, fully, fully enclosed shower. Big people can get in and out of there. Tall people can get in and out of there. And then you have this other large wardrobe space here. This is really big. And it's got a nice open floor plan as far as as far as having room around the toilet, has a medicine cabinet, gorgeous rig. One thing they did in a Jayco that I really like is they put all the push button stuff up here and put it away. So you'll notice a lot of rigs when you come in, the slide controls and the various buttons are down here where little kids can get to them. It's nice to have that secured up here out of the way. This is a monitor panel, and if you look at it closely, you'd see that it has both gas and electric hot water. This has a gas and electric hot water heater, so you can heat your water on either source. Up ahead, on top here, we see that it has a high-capacity exhaust fan. This is absolutely a fantastic feature. I have one in my own RV, and what it does is it allows us to take all of that extra moisture out of the trailer. It really allows us to ventilate and, and not have it be full of condensation in here. Now, up here in the bedroom, there's a really, really cool feature I want you to see. And what it is, first of all, this has a full queen walk-around bed. This is not a shorty bed like most trailers have. This is a 60 by 80 queen. So if you have a special mattress that you like or you have some special bedding that you like, it'll work in here just fine. Also, look at this. This has a walk-in closet. 
Do you remember it had that big wardrobe in the bathroom? Well, we've also got one here. We've got hanging storage, we've got drawers, we've got places to hang hats and things like that. Even a mirror for getting dressed. I've never seen that in a trailer like this. Also, it's got more hanging storage and shelving on each side of the bed. Of course, the bed lifts up and there's a bunch of storage. And then one thing you're noticing in here, this has a front window. It's literally been years since we've had trailers with windows in the front. Uh, they went away quite some time ago and now they're back. And it's because we have better caps. So I'll show you that when we go outside. But it makes this a nice light open space instead of being so crowded and dark inside the way a lot of trailers are. There's windows and doors and everything up here. So it's really nice to be in. One last thing I want you to know about this bedroom is this has a pocket door. So I can actually close the door <laughs> if I release the snap up here for privacy. It works really good. Okay, let's take a look around the exterior too because there's a lot of great things about a Jayco to look at outside. Now this Jayco has a cool feature on it. It's got a special kind of door hinge. It doesn't swing freely. It has tension, so it won't slam against the side of the trailer when you get a stiff wind. And people can't slam the door, which is, of course, hard on the door. And you don't have to have that little hook thing here that always gets broken. It seems like people always grab it and break the little hook. Now, this has a fantastic outside kitchen. And I'll just show you here real quick. This is one of the better outside kitchens because it actually has a two burner gas stove top. You can hook your barbecue up out here, but now you've also got a cooktop so you can make things that need to be on a cooktop. It's got hot and cold running water. This is a plumbed sink. It's not one that you have to take the bowl out and drain somewhere else. And it's got power supply and it's got a little refrigerator. So that's great. You have a lot of choices there with your space. You see down here, this little button, this has power stabilizer jacks, and I can control them from here, and there's also controls in the front, which we're gonna see now. We look at this area, we see that the axles are a little bit farther apart, and that gives us, it's called a wide track axle system, and what it does is it gives us a little longer wheelbase, so it smooths out the ride, it doesn't rattle your stuff inside as much, and it makes it tow nice, it helps manage the hitch weight, which I really like that. One other thing I want to point out, a couple of details here. This has the gla Glacier package, which is an extra measure of insulation they put in this rig. They use some special materials to make it a little warmer inside or cooler if it's a real hot day out. Also, the keys are all alike, and I don't know if you remember days when you had different keys for every door. And this one here, the, the entryways are keyed the same. So that's fantastic. And this one here, the sidewalls are aluminum frame. And it also has a solar panel uh, connector so you can use a portable solar. That's located up here a little bit farther. Take a look in here. There's a really big expansive storage area. Lots of room to put your stuff. That goes up under the bed. And I want to show you something. This door is very heavy and it's very thick. A lot of trailers have little skinny doors. They don't have deep gaskets like this does. And what it does is it helps keep the moisture and the dust out of your compartment. Slam latch doors are easy to close. You don't have to fool around with your toggle locks. This has a power tongue jack and it has seven gallon bottles. Now a lot of these trailers that are lower profile today you see have small bottles. This has the full size bottles. Also, look at this front cap. This is a full enclosure with the window, and it's not going to delaminate the way a lot of trailers do because this is a full enclosure in the front. It's not made out of the same stuff, and it won't, there's nothing to separate. They also have a really durable front fascia on here to keep the rock damage down. That works great, too. As we walk around here, we're going to see this slide out. And you can look underneath. This uses a special uh, type of slide called a rack and pinion. Uh, it's the most reliable type of slide. And it's the one that gives you the most room inside the trailer. It runs under the floor instead of above the floor. I really like that. The other thing you'll notice as you look around this trailer, this has beautiful windows. These are, are called frameless windows. And they're not only attractive, they're functional. This has the property of, since we don't have all the aluminum framing around here, we don't have as much heat transfer and condensation 
coming in and out of the trailer. You can see back here, it's a nice detail. This has a removable shore cord. That means that I don't have a little hole in the side of my trailer for mice to crawl up and get into. And then if you look at the very bottom here, you're going to notice this has fully enclosed gate valves. The, the water system for draining your wastewaters, uh, the gates are up inside the enclosure, so these pipes stay empty. So you can use them in freezing weather and you don't have to worry about your pipes freezing. Now another thing that this trailer has that's fantastic is it has a ladder and you can go up on your roof and you can inspect your seals and you can maintain your roof. Also, it tells us that this is a fully walkable roof and Jayco has a remarkable roof structure called a Magnum Truss Roof. I encourage you to go to their website and take, it a, look, uh, take a look at it online. It's one of the best roofs out there. It's very strong. Uh, I'm, I'm quite fond of Jayco's because of the quality and their legacy. I hope you like this video and I hope that you're interested in taking a look at this new 27RB Whitehawk from Jayco. My name's Matt Elliott and if you have any questions just give me a call. My number is 541-954-8495. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.